What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to do a ranked match video. I am ranked number one right now, but I'm in a tie with Donkey74, so I'd like to break that up. Um, I'm going to be playing Ranged Energy, uh, which I think is going to be a very potent force after the recent proposed balance changes are put into effect on the live server. Who knows, maybe they're already there by the time this video is being uploaded. But namely, I think Ranged Energy is going to be really valuable again because of hired marksman change and maybe even the cannon automaton change. Uh, right now the most of the range energy decks you see in ladder are more automaton focused. So also what I did uh, with a lot of people asking about the deck guide videos um, and how they, some people wanted me to play a match afterwards. Um, I have tons and tons of ranked match videos where I use the decks. So what I'll do is I will like link a few of them in the description. But while I was at that, I actually went through all 70 rank match videos and renamed the titles to be more specific about the decks being played. So you can easily go to the playlist for my rank match videos, which have like 70 something videos in it, and just do like uh, Control Find, Control F, uh, Tempo Order, for example, and you'll get like like uh, 20 matches and you just find what you want. So uh, I just wanted to mention that. And I act is actually post commentary right now. The actual match is live commentaries. I forgot to do an intro to the video. So yeah, it's a fun match coming up. So here it is. All right, we are against Sisp. Hello and good luck. Have fun. Uh, part of me wants to keep asserting him because I have a turn four burn, which is just great. But um, I'm going to Mulligan. Okay. I'm going to draw a new starting as I want lower creatures, and this I guess is better. Not a whole lot better, but I think it's better. I'm gonna get, keep the Thunder Surge. Why does I can't type with uh? All right, role playing energy. I'm gonna get rid of the early ten meta. This chat keeps deleting. <laughs> yeah, the scrolls sent uh sensor chat stuff is kind of strange. I'll unfortunately have to sacrifice a bombard here. I'd rather keep my other scrolls in hand, and whatever he plays. Um, sacrificing that Canetta before may have been a mistake. Want to stay on curve. Sisp might be playing a range under deck build. I believe he's been talking about range energy a bit uh, in Badger chat. Play some man can burn, please. So basically, anything but a forge. Well, power trip, <laughs> double forge. Okay. Well, okay, well, I got a Storm Runner. I'm going to sacrifice the Bombard for resources. So I only have one more Bombard left in the deck, which is kind of unfortunate. And I'll just play another Storm Runner, I guess. <laughs> yep. So we had to play, like, in essence, three scrolls to get those two forges down because he played Power Trip without getting the draw from it. So I'm kind of, I guess I'm fine with that because these guys, anyways, are not like immediate threats. Sacrifice uh, a little bit because I'm really hoping he plays something I can burn. Alright, doesn't look like he will. So it looks like we might lose our Thunder Surge. Hmm, or do I want to get rid of my Overdrive? I'm going to sacrifice the Overdrive for scrolls. Hopefully, I get something I can play. Awesome. Yeah, now I can go to Ironclad River next turn and then Thunder Surge if I need to. I will... I don't know which one to damage. I guess... I'm 
going to damage this one because I might want to burn this one before an automaton spawns. That might be the play over an Iron Cloud River next turn. And this is going to be able to hopefully take things out. Maybe if I could draw a Machinator, that'd be nice. So he goes to 5. I'm guessing he's playing a ranged energy deck. Potion of Resistance on that one. And he's going to pump. Okay. I'm just going to deal some damage here, I think, and just play the Iron Cloud Reaver. I don't see the need to burn anything just yet. And I'll keep my guys where they are. So a Thunder Surge could be valuable because we'll be able to take down this Gun Automaton. Um, or down here could be valuable because the Storm Runner can finish up the job. Uh, but it would use all my resources, so the Tempest River would have an attack of zero. Burn is nice. He goes to six. Are we going to see a six drop come down? Maybe a Mount Dispersal? He's... Is he just going to pump? He's just pumping. Well, he's getting value, I guess. Uh... There's the third Bombard. What shall I do? What shall I do? I could Thunder Surge, but eh. Then this guy doesn't get to attack. I can burn. Alright. He kind of played around good things I can do. I kind of want to use... Hmm. I'm going to bombard. Is that really going to help me right now? I don't really think so. I'm gonna get this guy to attack. I'm, I'm gonna sacrifice the bombard. Spark. That is what I wanted. Goody. And I'm actually going to. I'd rather kill this than that. Be this guy. Uh, he just has like an armored creature to hit. And I have the Storm Runner engaging up top anyways. Okay, so Spark was a very good draw there. That's what, that's, I guess that was uh, exactly what I needed. He's just been pumping his forges, which I guess keeps him at a good place in terms of scrolls and resources because he's not really spending many scrolls. But my board is definitely more threatening than his. He's going to pump again. Going to have four attack attacking here. So he should be able to destroy something. We could get a second Ironclad Reaver down if we don't have a good way to use our removal effectively. Spark. And is that going to be it? And that's it. Okay. I will... I'm actually going to... I'm going to sacrifice the Tempest River for Scrolls. I think I'm just going to play the Iron Cloud River this turn. Or do I want to get rid of Thunder Surge? Nah, Thunder Surge can be really valuable. Okay, I can go three Iron Cloud Rivers. So what I'm going to do is... Up like that, and then go like this. And I guess I'll stay connected. So, I mean, you could get decent Thunder Surge. But I kind of value my positioning. I opted to destroy the Automaton instead of the Forge because. Really, the power of range energy comes from big bombard plays. So I'd rather just get rid of the range creature and just let him keep pumping. These forges are just surviving. The potion of resistance is gone on that top forge. So we could see a third ironclad, ironclad reaver come down. 
And those guys are pretty strong. I certainly like them not. They're not ranged creatures though. There's a machine chant on the uh, Storm Runner, so that I guess is a follow up to the spark before. And I guess I want to have two energy so I can kill you. Um, I won't burn them because I want to have I want to have two energy, so I'll go to six, six and play a Ironclad Reaver. Oh no, Ekmaton! I mean, <laughs> I almost played the Ironclad Reaver. That would have been bad. Alright, looking good. We're really putting the pressure on. His forges won't be able to survive much longer. He's at 8 resources now. He's had the luxury of really ramping up. But it's going to take lots of stuff to destroy my reapers. Sudden eruption. Okay, well, now I guess is the time we finally are able to... Uh, get stuff on the board here. I mean, clears board. Are we gonna clear his board? I want to. Thunder Hitch, I don't think, is gonna be quite as valuable anymore. Actually, I'd rather get rid of the gun on if it's on. Okay, so I will. Go like that, and yeah, why not? We have a bunch of thunder surges. Let's just thunder surge here. So now we're going to engage the entire board. But he's at eight energy. But we're not too worried. Another sudden eruption would hurt. But I could just follow it up by playing um, another Iron Collector Reaver. Hopefully my Iron Collector Reavers can start actually doing some nice idle damage. There's a Vount Dispersal and one of the Iron Collector Reavers. And... He has 5 attack now, which is good. I'm going to just take the opportunity to... I'm going to get rid of the Gun Automaton because I already sacked all three of my Bombards. So, at this point in the game, I just want to play strong creatures. I will take out Middle Idol. And play another Iron Cloud Reaver. Okay, Middle Idol is down, and I'm still engaging a lot of the board. Maybe I should, this guy should have been up one so you can really engage more. Oh well. I do have both a Burn and a Thunder Surge in my hand, though. I'm hesitant to get the Forge Gems. That board's already pretty cramped as it is, and you don't really want to over cramp versus energy because Thunder Surges can hurt. Alright, so burn on the Iron Cloud River, so that is very good for him. And... I mean, this guy does a, is When he dies, I'm going to get energy, so I'm not really too far behind him in energy. I will get rid of the Dust Runner. I have two burns now. He really has not given me much to burn. I could have burned, like, some Forges and Automatons before, but I guess it wasn't too worth it in my mind. I'm going to... Engage stuff. I'll just play the forge, I guess, and pump it up once. <sighs> He's probably waiting for the right spells, like a bunch of sudden eruptions in a row. But like I said, I should be A-OK. -okay. Two birds in hand, whatever he puts down, is probably going to just die. Okay, he goes to nine, we could see a sudden eruption... 
If he doesn't sudden eruption this turn, I can do some really big idle damage. Okay. Thunder Surge. Alright, so he takes those two out. Maybe I shouldn't have had them next to each other. And there is a state machine. I will get rid of the Thunder Surge for scrolls. Double machinated. Well, I guess I'll pump. And I'm just gonna tired smuggler. And I'll keep the rest of the scrolls in my hand. Okay, the Thunder Surge, yeah, I shouldn't have just like connected like that. Okay. Charge Coil. So Sisp is playing more of a hybrid deck. I mean, he has, yeah, Machine Chance and all that. He has some things. I'm going to just go ahead and burn this. I don't really want to deal with that. Uh, Canada, very good. Uh, do I really, do I want to use a match to just kill this? Probably not. I will get rid of one of the Oculus Cannons for resources. I'm going to pump once and I'm not going to machinate it. I'm still going to move about my creatures and that will be my turn. I mean, I'm not, I, I don't think I need to really get rid of that with a machinate. I'd rather save the machinate. Maybe I can get a quick win somehow. I only, we're not really close to the deck recycle. That's, that's, that's unfortunate for me. I kind of, kind of need a, need a deck cycle. Sudden eruption hurts. I'm going to get rid of, I'll just go ahead and burn first. About dispersal, I think I want to keep. I'll get rid of the potion, Oculus Cannon. No, I have no overrun bards, I'll get rid of the Oculus Cannon. And I will get the Pillage Effect and play an Akamaton. Maybe I should have played the Machinated. Probably should have now that I think about it. I could have saved one extra health on this Automaton and this Akamaton. Echotons are pretty important in mono energy matchups. Because they tend to. Alright, there's a Thea. I'm happy I kept that Valent Dispersal. Now that's bad. Okay, we're gonna have to wait a bit to kill that Thea then. Um, there's a third match needed. Hmm. I will get rid of the Oculus Cannon for... I like I have so many scrolls. He doesn't have as many scrolls as me. Burn. What I'll do... Get a Forge down. Um, I'm going to Potion of Resistance you. And play a Canada. Okay, so maybe it wasn't too bad that I didn't uh, go ahead and machinate the Stormrunner to get rid of that. I mean, it's gone now, and it, it only affected three creatures, right? 
Okay, with three mash nudes in hand, I think I could get some kind of quick win or something. Valent Dispersal on the Forge and Useless Contraption. Contraption. Okay, it's gonna prevent the pillage effect, but you have potion resistance anyways. You have three attack now. So you'll be drawing me, you're you're gonna be getting me to ten energy. I will hmm. wait, double machinated on you is able to destroy that idol. And then uh, one machinated would be left over there. I'm pretty close to winning. I think I want to keep all three machinateds. I'm going to get rid of the potion of resistance, although it seems really important. Another valve dispersal. Well, let's just. Hmm. I will pump. Not playing things I can really burn this match. I guess I'll play the smuggler. And that'll be that. I still have a lot more scrolls than him. Right, this draws me energy at three, right? Yes, it does. If this Kenneta survives this turn, I can get a really high attack. Alright, there's going to be a burn there. Now you have five attack. This Thea might just move up to take out two units. Alright, there's a Metal Wonder. Oh, interesting. You're playing Metal Wonder. And he's about actually to do his first bit of idle damage here. One night damage. Uh, Potion of Resistance. I don't know, do I keep both of the in my hand? Probably should. I'm going to get rid of... Should I, should I go to 10 to dispersal this? No, I'm going to sacrifice the scrolls. I'll get rid of one of the machinated now. And, ooh, I probably should have kept the Oculus Cannon before because of this. I'll play an Echomaton. And a Hired Smuggler. And finally, <laughs> the Potion Resistance goes away. So I'll be Valent Dispersaling there. I hope to not... I, I really hope he doesn't play a Sudden Eruption. Sudden Eruption would be the worst possible scenario. It wouldn't be the end of the world though, because I would get some energy, and yeah. Thunder Surge there, another good Thunder Surge room, I kind of have to stop putting strongish creatures next to each other. It's going to give you three attack though. And I hopefully there's no potion of resistance. I wanna I wanna bounce dispersal that. Okay, machine chant. And no potion of resistance, please. Alright, good. So we're gonna just go ahead and violent dispersal that. I will sacrifice the overdrive for scrolls. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I will, I think, destroy that. I'll bounce dispersal there and play a Tempest Reaver. I mean, I do kind of want to get a Kenneta out because. it out because uh, I have all the mash units, but I should really just use my resources efficiently. Okay, there's a burn on that, so I'm going now. I'm gonna be at 11 energy, so I'm caught. I've caught up to him in energy, and I have more scrolls in him. And it looks like I have a better board state. Okay, not too shabby. Let's 
hope he doesn't have a way of coming back. It's still a little scary though, because he could come back. Alright, we're approaching round 20. Seems like I've been on the upper hand this whole match though. Like when he had the forges earlier, I was just destroying all of their little outputs. Spark and now a sudden eruption maybe? Sudden eruption would hurt. Another metal wonder, and here's a sudden eruption. Okay. Now let's see. Let's get rid of the dust runner for scrolls. I will play the forge. Pump. And I'll play Canada rather than pumping again. I'm not gonna play the Dust Runner. One drops are just gonna die so easily to sudden eruptions and stuff. And he's not really playing creatures that I can effectively do stuff against. Okay, well now he's top decking. Well, are we finally going to burn something? <laughs> Okay, this is a deck cycle. I'm going to just go ahead and burn this right away. He has a lot of resources anyways, and he's going to be top decking. So let's burn that. Thunder Surge is good. I'm actually going to sacrifice your scrolls, though. I will pay three energy. And I guess that'll be my turn. Now I hope he doesn't have to click a burn for this Canada. That would be really helpful because the Canada should do some nice damage. Essentially all I have to do is I could win next turn if I can get this Canada to destroy Nada with some combination of machinateds and maybe mount dispersal. And then alright, I was gonna say uh, hey. Akus can overdrive somehow there. Oh, can we win? Let's see. All right, let's see. So that would take a spark, Akus cannon overdrive. That is going to be seven resources. And then what do we have left over? We have five left. Then we can seven, 12. Five left, I don't think I have GG. Yeah, I don't think it's GG. I need to get you to have two more attack. It's close to GG though. I will sacrifice. I guess I'll sacrifice for resources. Hmm. I'm going to machinate so I can get rid of one of those, and then. I will play the hired smuggler, sacrifice spark for scrolls. I want to sacrifice for scrolls. And now I'm going to pump once and play an echo baton. So one of those is down. I kind of want more scrolls on him, that's why I sacrificed the scrolls. I guess I could look like I'm purposely holding on to certain scrolls, which I am. I mean, I've been holding on to a bunch of machinates for a while. Okay. 
so Xisp can check that out if he wants to see what I'm thinking here. Now let's see, double overdrive. Hmm, I think this is where we go up to, we get rid of the spark. Actually, Thunder Surge here. Thunder Surge, Oculus Cannon, Overdrive. Nah. I kind of want to save the Oculus Cannon Overdrive for a win. I'll get rid of one of the Overdrives. Or resources. And now I will go with the Violent Dispersal. And I'm going to move away from him and play an Ironclad Reaver. So there, dropping something. And now we're at 12 energy. Alright, power trip, you go up to 5 attack in the back there. I'd like to top deck a Bombard. I still feel the Browns will be safe about this match. I mean, he has Top Reaver Theas in his deck. At least one. So, I'm not really that safe considering he has ways to clear my board and the uh, potion resistance combos. Next turn we could, we could win, if he doesn't really protect this idol with anything else, and I can somehow destroy this idol. Okay, that destroys all of that, and this charge wheel, please do not hit this. Nice. Is that going to be game? I think that's going to be game, right? I just have a Thunder Surge, Spark, Oculus Cannon Overdrive, GGWP. So I will Thunder Surge, Spark, Oculus Cannon Overdrive. Well, that's a win on round 24. I may have missed Lethal earlier, I'm not sure. Maybe didn't make the best plays, but I was kind of playing that match really carefully against Sisp, who's a great energy player, great player in general. Uh, so, but that was a lot of fun. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you all next time.